so uh, today first i will share the course outcome whatever the course outcome is there the course outcome prepare the vehicle layout with the chassis specification means this is our first course outcome which is belong to first unit in the first unit we going to see that whatever the vehicle layout is there and uh, what is the different chassis used for the vehicle layout okay so interparent power flow diagram and the transmission system and the transmission system okay power flow means how the power circulate in the automobile vehicle with the flow diagram is here and transmission system means uh, trans transmission system means the component we talk about the component which is responsible for the which is responsible for the transmission system which is responsible for the transmission system <coughs> okay the uh, next outcome select suitable braking and steering system means in third unit we talk about the braking system because braking system is much hello i am audible to all student please reply with message in chat box i am audible or not okay <clears throat> so student our third uh, is recording the braking system because the braking system is very much important factor for the automobile engineering because we also say that this is the control system the combination of braking system and the steering system is called the control system of the automobile engineering okay the next is select suspension system for the different application means the suspension system means uh, when the vehicle is meet a bump or breaker then the suspension system is work then the suspension system is work okay so this suspension system may be hydraulic may be pneumatic or may be spring suspension system is there okay to secure the vehicle from the shock due to the road in regularities due to the road in regularities okay so next outcome is prepare simple electrical electronic circuit for the automobile system means in the fifth unit we are going to discuss whatever the electrical and electronic system utilized are used in automobile system means most probably we talk about the car because the, the car vehicle uh, the most of the function is 
nowadays electrical and based on the electrical and electronics means software and they operated by the electronics device okay so the last is select service tool for the relevant service operation in the automobile shop in in this unit we talk about the different type of acts and uh, service says and maintenance of the automobile vehicle okay so now this is the our teaching scheme in three hour lecture session and two hour practical session in a week and this is 70 for the in semester marks and 30 marks for the progressive assessment assessment means every progressive assessment and for the practical 25 for the practical assessment and 25 for the external means total 50 marks for the practical and 100 marks for the theory okay so in this time there is most of the possibility is your examination is go to offline so you have to prepare for that so your paper is made on this skin so this is a course man there is no requirement to this so i just come to here okay so now we talk about the subject briefly so here we can see what is the what is an automobile engine a vehicle produces power within itself for its proportion is known as a self propulsion called vehicle so example moped scooter motorcycle car jeep truck tractor ship aircraft rocket all these things in the two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler and multi wheeler all the vehicles belongs to this category okay a self propelled vehicle used for the transportation of goods passenger on the ground is called the automobile this is the specific then definition of the automobile okay on the ground okay so we call it automobile it is specific means a vehicle which is used for the transportation of goods passenger in the ground on the ground only that is called the automobile we can't say that the aircraft is automobile or we can't say that the <coughs> submarine or water plane is automobile no this is not part of a automobile only that vehicle which is run on the road and transportation of used for the transportation of the goods and passenger that's called only automobile okay so different from aeronautical vehicles like plane helicopter rocket or marine vehicle see boat submarine so these are the different these are not a part of automobile system or automobile vehicles okay so so what is the main definition we texted that automobile is a self propelled vehicle generally driven by the ic engine and it's used for the 
transportation of passenger and goods on the ground this definition is given by wh course okay for example car bus truck scooter etc whatever the vehicles which is auto started or auto run so the manual rickshaw or bicycle is not under this category because they also run on the road but they are not automated okay we have to give the manual power to operate them that's why they are not under this category okay so what is the history of the automobile captain nicolas joseph sars french army built the first self propelled vehicle in 1968 and 17 means between these two years he built a first self propelled vehicle this is the first automobile now it is in the museum okay which is steam engine steam operated steam powered engine 1768 see this is the first vehicle or we can say that first automobile vehicle is there which is you see in the picture call benz so benz car aap sab logon ne seen hogi bahut famous car hai so this is the founder of the benz company okay so inventor of the first gasoline powered automobile 1886 okay so he the benz motor is tribute of this man okay so invention of the wheel is major milestone in the human history after the fire okay so the first invention or finding is the fire which is much important and much useful for the human after that the wheel is give a revolution in the human culture because by wheel we can very easiness in our transportation system okay so here okay so here we can see before invention of the wheel what we can use we use the animal for the transportation like horse elephant camel okay and this ostrich is there okay so so different type animal we can use for the transportation okay we can sit on the animal and travel one place to another place before invention of the wheel okay now hot square is a type of vehicle but it is not automobile in under the automobile this is the hard score and see what is the history 18 sorry 1869 captain nicolas tank not french scientist build a first automobile see the diagram of uh, this system we already seen and now Uh, this automobile is steam power so here steam piston is there 1969 can got steam in the there is a and there is a steering rear wheel and front wheel is there so this is the first automobile vehicle which is we found in our history 18 Hundred one, Richard threw the crick first 
team carry means the previous one this is for the one man who can drive this but this is for the goods purpose okay so everything was born in 1771 in a mining village in cornwall england he was a travel student he teaches thought he was a this obedient means they don't follow his he don't follow the order slow optings and poor boy who would never amount to anything and in the fact he was basically illiterate his entire life okay so he can't educate but he loved to tinker who with tool and machines means jo ye aapke प्राइवेट थिंकर हैं ये आपके टूल्स और मशीन्स से बहुत ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट था हाई इंटरेस्टेड सो दैट्स व्हाई दे आर एबल टू क्रिएट द हिस्ट्री एंड दे बिल्ड फर्स्ट स्टीम कैरियर सी नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट द बेंस 80 85 1885 c 1869 1801 now 1885 benz motor in the germany developed first vehicle before with ic engine means before 1885 the ic engine is developed or ic engine is invented student 10 minute is remaining after 10 minute the meeting is automatically ended okay and you can join again so the word first automobile the word first automobile designed by the carl benz c this vehicle is run by the this vehicle is run by the ic engine okay before the all the vehicle which we call the automobile uh, motive that is based on the steam engine okay so you can see whatever the design of this vehicle first i see also we can see that this is the first ic engine vehicle first ic engine vehicle okay so next in 1897 mr foster from the coptons grave drove first major car in the india and 1901 mr jamshed ji tata the very famous name and her this is the very famous name and very he do many things for our india development mr jamshed ji tata was the first indian to own a motor car okay so jamshed nagar a place in the bihar that is the tribute of this man means the place is uh, name on his tribute jamshed ji tata jamshed nagar is there or we also say that the tata nagar is there okay so that is the first man who owned a motor car now we talk about the classification of automobiles okay so based on the purpose see first based on the purpose passenger carrier car and buses and goods carrier based on the purpose 
means which purpose it will utilize automobile so based on the that we divide or we classify the automobile into two parts that is the passenger carriers car and goods carrier okay so next based on the fuel any which type of fuel we are going to utilize so we can use the petrol we can use the diesel electric steam okay no but now a days steam is not used for a fuel okay uh, after ic engine comes in the picture we can use petrol and diesel now a days uh, due to the <coughs> high demand and low production of the diesel and petrol we go for the electric okay so e bike e car is available but not much more familiar but uh due to the battery and charging point unavailability the electric system is not adopted roll and distribution is there so we can go for the electricity and steam is not used at at all right now so now based on the construction okay so based on the construction single unit and articulated okay trailer and tractor is there so what is the mean of the single unit mean meaning of the single unit like a bus car two wheeler three wheeler is there truck is there but articulated means a driver is there means a driver vehicle is there and we can uh, attach the trailer we can attach the bogey like that like a tractor and trailer is there means the movable part is different and the goods uh, transportation part is different we can combine them with via the hook and we can make a automobile system okay drive so this is the drive section left hand and right okay this is the drive system <coughs> so in india left hand drive system is used and uh, america and other country is uh, use the right hand asia use left hand and outside countries use the right hand drive system now it is the capacity what the capacity hmv means <coughs> truck buses and lmv means tempo and jeep now based on the body so based on the body these are the types now what are the main components what are the main components of the automobile the automobile can be considered to consist of the five basic component the engine or power plant okay the engine or the power plant because without a engine a automobile vehicle can't move okay so we can say that this is the power source of the vehicle the power plant of the vehicle okay it is the source of the power the frame and the chassis so whatever the frame and chassis it is support the engine wheel body braking system steering system etc so what is the frame and body frame and chassis support all the components support all the component whatever it is suspension system the suspension system and you know, braking system engine steering system all the things belongs to the frame and chassis the transmission okay 
which transmit the power of the engine to the wheel okay transmission system is the transmit the power from engine to the wheel okay now so the body and control system and different type accessories is here including lighting cars conditioning air conditioning heaters stereo wiper etc so we can divide the all the component in the basic parts okay so students uh, the time is over 40 40 minute is over so the lecture is disconnected so you can join again Thank you.